Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Tinker77. We are again on Tinker World, and today we uh, have gone through the portal that we uh, made the tunnel for last time into the desert. And as you can see, there's lots of cactus and sand and desert stuff. But over here, we see some uh, acacia wood. So we're going to gather that wood real quick so we can bring it back. We're also going to uh, harvest some cactus and some other materials that we need. So we're going to do that right now. So let's go get some uh, wood. I'm going to run over here really fast. Shouldn't take long. And we're also going to get cacti and probably some sand, maybe some sandstone. Who knows? But we're going to start with uh, the wood since... Uh, we don't have any of this brand of tree yet. So let's go get some and get some saplings. So yes, that's the goal today. Just kind of uh, start to work on that kind of thing. We're going to um, eventually start to work on making a cactus farm because I want to be able to have some cactus for the killing mechanism that's in the slime farm. So that's the goal there. And we're not going to be tall enough to do, get up there, but we have some netherrack. That'll get us up here. There we go. So, I'm just going to start to gather up the wood, and then we're going to go and get some uh, cactus, and then from there we're going to go back. But these cows need to die. One nice thing about having a bow that has fire on it, or flame, is that it cooks the steaks automatically. It's kind of nice. Oh, and we have mules. That's interesting. Might have to take some of those back. Anyway, we'll be back in a little bit. So I've gathered a stack of cactus. I have... 26 of the acacia wood and 6 of the saplings, which should be enough so I can just make those at our base. So we're going to head back now, and then I'm going to start to uh, figure out and how I'm going to implement the cactus farm, automatic cactus farm. Okay, we're back over at our farm by the melon farm, and I'm going to start to build this out. Now, I haven't done this in the testing world. I'm just going to do it on the fly here. What I want is have the chest here, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to have the hopper going into that and going into the, each of these hoppers. Now, my intention is to have a an area that has um, water flowing from here all the way over to the hoppers. Okay, so I want to build a base for that, and it has to be a total of eight long, counting the hopper. That's one, two, and let's do a three. Oops, don't want that. Four, five. Did it again. Must be the plant that got me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's where the water will go. So I'm going to make a basic flowing system for it. I'll frame it up with glass. And then after that, we'll start to make it the actual um, cactus farm part that where the, the cactus will automatically grow and without any redstone, destroy themselves to be and then flow down into the chest. So let me get that started. I will frame this up and I'll show you what I mean. So here is the pool. The water sources will be right here and they'll push the drops into these hoppers which will go into that chest. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create this system. Now I'm going to have two towers, one here and one here. So basically if you think of this as four, I want the two in the center of the four by four or four by three grid. Now the way it works is, let me start this off here. I'm going to go up to here I'll get rid of this lower block. Okay, We're going to put on top of that, we're going to get sand, and I forgot my sand. I need to go get it. Um, we're going to have sand on top of the block, and then we're going to have a cactus. Okay, One single cactus. Now when it gets to the second one, it should hit um, some string, and that will force it to break. And when it breaks, it'll fall off into the water, and the water will flow it into the chest. I forgot the sand, though, so let me go get that. As you can see here, I've got two of the columns started already. And I'm going to do the same thing over here, and I'm going to show you how I did it. The first thing I did was I started up a sand pillar. That way I can get back down pretty easily. Now this first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to go out from here so that I can start a level. Let me get my uh, stone slabs. Okay. So we need to be right there is the first one. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to put sand on it. Now let's go up a block just so we're up higher. You're going to put a cactus. And then the side on the bottom, you're going to put a string. Okay? Now let's go up again. On top of the string, you put the uh, sand, you put a cactus, and on the side of it, you put a string. And you just go up as high as you want. Now the thing is, is that when this grows, it'll grow, but as soon as it hits the string, because it's right next to it, it causes this part to fall off, 
and it'll go into our water stream and be done. So that's what you got to do. Um, I'm going to build these up higher and then I think I'm going to enclose this in some glass so we can see it and we will have then a cactus farm that should be automated. Okay, I've been AFK for about a half an hour, just a short time. Looks like we got some melon and the pumpkins going, that's good. And let's see what we're doing here. We've gotten 16 cactus, so that's good too. Um, it slowly produces. I mean, I didn't make it big, but it works. So that's that's really good. Um, what I'm going to do now, though, let me go over here, is I'm going to cut the video short. And the reason why is I uh, don't have a lot of time for today, and i got to get this video out is one. But another reason is I've been experimenting with a different tool um, for recording video, and it seems to be working better with as far as keeping the audio in sync. And I was having some trouble with the other tool that I was using. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the videos I've recorded here and edit them into the video that you're watching now. And hopefully that'll go a lot better now that I'm using a different tool. But since it's new, I want to make sure that I do it right. And that takes a little bit more time. So I'm going to stop the video here. And thank you for joining me. And like usual, if you liked the video, please click the like button. Leave a comment in the comment section below. And if you want to be notified, please subscribe to this channel. Also, let anybody else know about Tinker77 and have them view my videos. Again, I'm sorry for the being so short this uh, video, but... Next video will be really good. So thanks again. Have a great day. Bye-bye.